I think InsureTechs so are changing the customer experience in two principal ways. They are creating competition for underwriters to try to bring products to market. And they are on the other side trying to create innovation and uh, enhance the, the customer experience for the underwriters themselves. So I think it depends on which side of the, the coin a particular startup is involved in. I think the consumer is looking for speed, uh, is looking for uh, speed in terms of claims, in terms of being able to be underwritten and to provide innovative products. Uh, so I think if they focus on developing new products that can solve customers' needs like many other disruptive spaces, they will have a better advantageous uh, way to uh, exceed. I think that depends on your perspective. From an underwriter's perspective, I think that the data is the key. It helps them to underwrite their product, to make sure that they are delivering a product that is solving a need and solving a problem. Uh, from the standpoint of the startup, I think it depends on the type of uh, invention or innovation they're trying to create. If they're trying to create a product that is data-driven to help an underwriter create either a new product or create speed to deliver their existing products, then perhaps yes. And if their product is more in line with trying to develop um, either a, a service or some form of other customer experience while data might uh, play a key role, it may not be the key role. So our firm is focused on uh, really three, three areas in the insurance space. One is to work with the underwriters themselves in the regulatory environment, which can be very complex, as we all know, uh, and to deliver that, that service in, in a global way. The second area is to work with the underwriters and other insurance providers uh, to help them make investments into uh, InsurTechs and into startups. And the third is to work with the InsurTechs themselves and the startups to look for commercial partners, to look for capital sourcing, and to help them execute on their legal needs. I think you know, you're certainly at an inflection point. The InsurTech space has been around for a while now, several years. And you know, you're starting to, to begin to see companies look for their next round of financing, for underwriters to start to make decisions about whether or not their investments in either InsurTech funds or particular startups are yielding the results that they are looking for. And as a result, I think you're at a point where we'll start to see some succeed and uh, you know, unfortunately some perhaps fail. And so at that point, I think the, the industry itself is going to have to make a decision as to whether or not to move forward. I personally believe that they will, uh, and they will do so in a continued way. Um, but uh, I think you're at that inflection point or beginning to see that inflection point. I think like many other events similar to this and in other industries, they bring together uh, those different environments and those different uh, sectors of the space to, to collaborate, to understand what each uh, needs in terms of what their goals are. Uh, it certainly helps startups in terms of fundraising and, and commercial enterprise. And I think for the, for the underwriters themselves, I think it presents the opportunity to really vet uh, those insure techs and startups that they see as future providers of their service or potential future disruptors of their service. So in, in short, I think it's basically a way to, uh, to do your due diligence from either aspect of, uh, of the investment community.